Hello friends, welcome back to Java at Interview Questions. In this video, we'll talk about one of the very important functions of Stream API called Flat Map. So it sounds a little bit complex, but this function is pretty easy to use. So in this video, we'll talk about Flat Map, and I'll give you a couple of examples so that you can understand how it really works. All right. So let's begin the video now. Let's have a look at the definition of flat map. Flat map function, it is used to flatten a stream of collections to a stream of objects like a string or integer, right? Let's have a look at it here. So I have a list and each element of my list is a list. So it's a kind of a complex data structure. I have a list and each element itself is a list, right? And we need to convert that list into a stream. So we use flat map to convert this complex data structure into a stream of string type values or a stream of integer type values, right? So in this video, we'll talk about two examples. We'll first collection of string type values and we'll convert that into a stream of string type values. And we'll take another example where we'll work on the integer type values. We'll take a collection of integer type values and we'll convert that into a stream of integer. All right. Now let's understand what is a flat. So if you look at it here, consider that this is my list and I have three elements in my list and each element of my list has got two elements, right? So basically each element of my list is another list, right? So when we use Java to flat map function, what it does, it takes your complex data structure and, and generates a single stream of the object type values. Let's suppose that these values, these elements are the string type values. So your flat map function will generate a stream of string type values. All right. Now let's talk about this particular example. If you see it here, I have got three elements in my list. Each element of my list itself is an integer type list. Okay. So after applying a flat map, what I'm expecting, I will get a result of like this stream of integer type values. Okay. So let me open the ID and let's write some code let's understand how flat map really works all right let's go and create a class today we are talking about flat map example now so guys i already prepared the the data stream the list so what do i have i have a list of prime numbers then second list is list of odd numbers then i have another list of even numbers and my final list right so my final list is a list of prime numbers odd numbers and even numbers right so it's a list having another list so each element of my list itself is a list right so now let me just print let me just show you how this particular final list looks like okay so this is how it looks like i have a list and each element itself is a list okay now let's see how flat map works okay so we'll take our final list let's convert this list into what first of all we'll convert this into a stream now that i know that each element flat map right each element of my final list is a list right so i'm working on a list right so i will use list.stream function to convert my list into a stream so basically this particular statement will convert will will take each element of my string and it will convert into a stream okay now let's do one thing dot if you guys remember in one of the video we discussed that there is a function called collect right and we use this particular function to collect the data so i'm using same collect function to collect the data into a list now what i'm expecting here is that my list list should have integers only and say int list equals to. okay all right guys so now what do you see here that here is our final list which is a complex list so basically a list having list into it right we first converted our list into a stream and then we applied a flat map function flat map function will take each element of the final list and convert that list into a stream right and then finally we are collecting here all the result of the flat map into a list so here is our list of integers now if i have to print let me just print sys out int list equals to let's see how it looks like now right so basically now the result after applying a flat map your complex stream right your list of list has become a list of integers only this is what you see here so this is the power of or the magic of flat map function it can convert your complex data structure into a stream of object okay now let's play with this particular thing little bit here okay now let's run some test cases for example you want to print the numbers which are not equals to three okay so for example if i have to apply this particular logic on final list how can i do that let's see print number which are not equals to three. First, we'll take our final list, convert into a stream, right? Now, if you guys remember, there is a function called filter, correct? Filter will take an element here, and then element not equals to three is my condition that I want to check, correct? And then I will print the value for each system dot out colon print ln but now if you see now what do you see it's giving you an error saying incompatible operand type why element of final list it is not integer type value it's another list so you cannot simply apply any logic to it now in case if i have to do it here let me just comment this portion for now okay now let's do one thing I, I want to apply same logic here also with our integer list so i'll convert this stream then i know that there's a function called filter 
but now I know that I am working on an integer type value so I will apply n is not equal to 3 that is what my requirement and I will use for each system dot out colon colon print ln. now you see I don't see any compile time error here on this particular integer list why because flat map function it generates like a stream of object one object type so so I know that the elements of this particular stream are integer types so I can apply all the mathematical operation to it now if I run this one okay so here you see the end result right so after applying flat map function you can apply any sort of operation on your list all right guys now let's talk about another example which is more realistic so we are creating another class flat map example 02 okay so here first of all we'll create a class called orders here my I have order ID I have order name and I have order items so basically each order can have multiple items correct so I have now let's go and create order list right okay so just to save the time I already prepared the list of orders right so let me show you what do I have I have a class called orders where I have three parameters one is order ID order name and order items so order items is a list of string type values why because an order can have multiple items right and here I prepared a list of orders like our order list so where I have read three orders are there order one order two and order three. if you see here order one items in the order one again in order two also has got three uh, three items order three also has three items correct so in total I have nine items in my order list right all right guys now so our requirement is to print the items from all the orders right so let's take the order list let's convert into a stream now we'll apply a map so if you guys remember map function it transforms one object into another one right so I'm using my order and from the order what I want I want the items okay now just now we have seen that we can use a flat map which will convert our stream because my order items right is a list right you can see here right so my items the list now we need to convert that list into a stream so here I'm using another way of doing it in the last video we have invoked the stream function but here what I'm doing I'm using method reference to call a function to call the stream function of the collection class okay now dot collect collect dos to list so collect is the function to collect the data elements right so what I'm expecting here I am expecting a list of type string values and I'll call it as item list equals to like this correct now I'll print the item list first so what I can do is sys out item list you see bat ball helmet pad bat Correct. So all the elements, all the items from all the orders. This is what you see, right? So this is the power of flat map function. So let's understand this one. We have our order list, right? We converted our list into a stream. Now I know that each element of my stream is going to be in order. So we have used a map function, right? If you guys remember in the last video, we have seen map is map can be used to transform one object into another one, right? So we are using our order object here and then we are getting the list order dot items it will give me a list now then we have used our flat map function and this time we have used the stream function of the collection class to convert the items list into a stream the output the result element right now in case for example if there is a requirement to print distinct orders so if you guys if you see the output here we have a repetition of certain items like bat is there here also here also right then we have helmet here also and here also now there is a requirement to print give me the unique items only right so what I will do I'll take same thing order list then we'll use dot stream let's go and use map again in the same fashion o o dot items dot flat map now items and then items dot stream 
and then dot for each correct so now if i print here sys out dot out colon print ln but our requirement is to print distinct orders right so i will call a function called distinct which will give me unique elements okay now let me just write a sys out here first okay so what we are doing here is here is our order list we have converted our list into a stream then we have used our map because we want from orders we just want the items from the order so we have used map function and then flat map so if you see there are multiple ways to use the stream function here i have used differently and here i have used differently now let's run this one and then we have used distinct function to print the distinct values so you see let me make it big for you guys so here you just have the unique items bat ball helmet pad stamps and gloves okay so guys the point is flat map function is used to flat a complex stream into a stream of objects so in this video we have seen we have worked on a stream of integer type values and we have also seen a stream of string type values all right guys so here we are done with this video i hope you have got a good understanding of flat map function all right guys so here we are done with this video thank you for watching and please subscribe the channel